My name is Dr Jason Braithwaite and this research project was carried out at my previous institution, the University of Birmingham. The title of the project was called The Depersonalised Brain and we explored psychophysiological correlates of cortical hyperexcitability as related to dissociative experiences such as depersonalisation and derealisation. The central aim of the project was to explore the role of cortical hyperexcitability underlying disorders of consciousness in non-clinical populations. We did this by exploring those that were predisposed to certain types of anomalous experiences that are commonly associated with conditions like depersonalization and derealization, which ultimately pertain to an unreality of the bodily self or feelings of unreality for one's surroundings. The experiments themselves revolved around a paradigm known as the pattern glare paradigm, which my laboratory has also been developing over recent years. This basically involves presenting striped gratings to individuals, and when the stripes have a certain density or a certain spatial frequency, they can be quite irritating to view. Part of that process can induce visual distortions, where you will see things that are not there. The gratings may appear to shimmer, flicker, or you may see coloured halos and distortions. The frequency and rate and range of these distortions is, is an indicator of increased cortical hyperexcitability and perhaps indicates your predisposition to more hallucinatory phenomena or dissociative experiences. The central findings from this study is, is that non-clinical individuals who are predisposed to disorders in consciousness and hallucinatory experience do indeed show signs of increased pattern glare. Now these signs can differ and vary across different dissociative conditions, something which was unexpected in our original hypotheses, but this is an exciting new finding to suggest that maybe going forward we need to fractionate this unitary idea that dissociation and dissociative experience is just one thing. Our research, funded by the Biao Foundation, has shown that there are many different forms of dissociation and we now perhaps need to start to look at these quite differently. Funding from the Foundation allowed us to hire a part-time research assistant over a two-year period which allowed us to gather a wide range of data from large samples to test the role of cortical hyperexcitability in non-clinical populations. If I had to define the foundation in a word, it would be visionary. It is their vision that supported our research into disorders of consciousness and how these extend into the non-clinical population, thus expanding our knowledge of consciousness and the relationship between the brain and the mind.